There is a question here from Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan says, I want to change my boot screen on Ubuntu 8.10. Could you help me? Thanks, Jonathan Harmon. Sure. Uh, P.S. Uh, this is not the splash screen. This is the one with the scrolling bar. Okay. So that's called a U splash screen on Ubuntu. It's the application that he uses. U splash screen. U splash. Uh, there's a program that, well, basically we need to get a new U splash, something that you're going to want. So I'm just going to bring up a new tab here. Go to, uh, you've seen me use this site before. Gnome-look.org. It's going to bring up that site over on the left-hand side. You see splash screens. I know that you're saying it's not the splash screen, but I know what you're talking about. Uh, when you say splash screen, you're thinking that little square that comes up in the middle of the window uh, on like XFCE or something like that. Pardon me. In this case, it is actually called a splash screen. It's a U splash. Wow, that's the coffee that makes me burp. I just realized. Well, should have stuck to water. See? And that does it too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving right along. Okay, so you splash here. See, here's the different kind of, you know, different kinds of themes that you can go with. You know, there's some pretty cool ones. I kind of like, you know, that you can jazz up your whatever you would call it, your you splash. So let's just say we like that one. So we can click on it. We can kind of zoom in. Oh, and there's different kinds of themes. So that could be your you splash theme. So you've got to download that. You're going to get. Oh, and I'm not even showing you. <laughs> You're zoomed in on me uh, looking at this computer screen. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Um, let's just go back a little bit so that you can see where, where I was. So I've clicked over here on Splash Screens. And then I'm just going to go through this list and pick a U Splash theme that I like. And it will tell you what it is. You know, this is a GNOME Splash Screen, GNOME Splash Screen. So that's what we're looking for. So let's say this is the one we like. Zoom in on it. Kind of choose the, you know, yeah, okay, that's a lot cooler than the default kind of thing. And then you can actually download the file that's associated with that. So, uh, so just grab that. There's the download here. There's one specifically for Intrepid, so we'll probably try that if we're on Intrepid. Let's let the download happen. That should have an SO file if we're lucky. If I open that archive, there it is. There's a preview image if we want to look at it. And bunch of GZ files. Now they've done this a little bit different. Let's see if I've got the U splash SO file here. I might just not go with the intrepid version, go with the original. Huh. So find find the package that does contain the SO file. So I'm just hitting back, back to the first screen. Where I clicked on Intrepid, I'm going to click on the regular download and just see if that's got what I'm looking for. Nice little advertisements. There we go. This one has usplash-linux-system.so. The reason I want that SO file is because I'm going to use an application called Startup Manager, and it's going to allow us to install that SO file as our U splash theme. So once you've downloaded that, I'm going to go into System Administration, or yeah, Administration Synaptic Package Manager. Let's install Startup Manager. You're going to like this as well. It's going to just make things a lot easier for you. Startup Manager, all one word. Uh, so just install that application. Mark for installation. Apply. Might as well take you right through. So I'm just going to actually just quickly go through that installation that's going onto my system. It's not going to take long. I'm just going to get that off the internet. Okay, it's actually done. So under administration now, we've got a, an option called Startup Manager. Startup Dash Manager as it is on the menu. <coughs> so now this is the new window. Okay, so we can go under Appearance. And you can actually manage your use Flash themes and just add your new SO file. So you can browse for that SO file. And that's going to add your theme there. And you can then select it from this drop-down menu. That's going to change that U splash theme for you. There's a couple other cool features in Startup Manager as well that you might want to play with. So take a look and enjoy. <laughs> 